What's up guys, Gunner Fan, welcome back. And today we are looking at this guy. What was that? I am Gunner. All right, so the, the narrative CPAX has arrived. Um, I didn't think it was going to get here this early because I did pre-order this um somewhere but they didn't fulfill it um in the first wave so i cancelled that cause, you know when you order for a certain company uh in japan uh, if, you know and it's a pre-order if it doesn't get fulfilled within the first wave you then don't know when they're going to take the money out of your account when they get more in they just you know so you know if it's a bit a bit of a, a touch and go situation so it wasn't fulfilled within the first like i wasn't lucky it's a bit of a lottery anyway um, so I cancelled that and I looked uh, elsewhere in Japan and there was one for sale and it was uh, really reasonable shipping. Um, so here we are. Thought I'd check it out for the channel. I'm uh, going to be building this on stream possibly within the next few weeks or whatever. Um, I'm in no rush. Uh, I've got other things planned. But this thing... Um, having built the Apex, the CPAX, um, and I've got the Awakening CPAX as well, uh, in high grade, I'm keen to see how this is, because this is a brand new mold, built from the ground up, uh, apart from maybe some like reused unicorn parts, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it, so it seems to be like it might be a ground up build, rather than, you know, like some of the other reused molds that we see, um, to save them time and stuff, so it's really, really exciting. It's a brand new um, ver car, so to speak. So let's hope it holds up. But we're going to take a look inside the box today. Um, it's typical um, in in the the, the, the Kotoki style, the proportions, the artwork. I love the ver car box art. It's very, very clean. Um, and this is from Gundam Narrative uh, UC ninety seven, I believe. Um, a year after the unicorn incident, or the sort of Plasis blocks box incident, this is one of the things I'm most in, uh, keen on is the core fighter and core block. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It's a very interesting core block, very nice design. It's got a very bird like um, wing structure and it does fold up. There's a lot of parts here, and I'm very, very keen on having a look at this uh, core fighter indeed. Um, it, it's a toss-up between the CPAX core fighter and the double Z core fighter. I think they're absolutely awesome. Really, really cool designs. Now, this does uh, not transform, but it, it is a parts. Um, it, it gives you the option to either have it in, um, you know, psycho frame mode or deactivated mode. Uh, it's a very, very clean, um, unactivated, uh, but very, very reminiscent of the unicorn in uh, almost like a destroyer mode, if you, if you like, um, which reacts to new type and um, you know new type technology. And in narrative, you actually see the C packs actually trying, uh, you know, communicating with the the uh, the Neo Zeon uh, NT version. <laughs> And Zoltan's like, what? <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> it's so such a bonkers, such a bonkers scene in that show where they're fighting inside the colony. And I was like, what am I watching? However, regardless, I digress. It's an awesome looking Gundam. Um, because it's unique, uh, it looks unfinished. Like the bicep part, it doesn't have any arm on the biceps and the, and the, uh, the thighs. It's kind of a weird, really weird design. Um, it's bonkers, and because it's so bonkers and out there, um, I kind of like it. There's a lot of people that are on the fence with this kit, a lot of people ain't rushing out to get it, and um, some people have said uh, they're on the fence with it, and I can see why. Um, because, like I say, that the, the design is so so weird, um, but it was designed to hunt the phoenix, um, as part of that episode or or that that era um, you know, of of the show of the UC, where they're trying to hunt down that Phoenix because they want to control time and no one can die and you know all the all the new type stuff. Anyway, so we're going to get into this today. We're going to unbox it and check out what's inside. I've, I've waffled on long enough, haven't I? Let's be honest. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a sec.
I'm going to show you how vivid this is um, in a minute. Looks like a new style of hand, um, much like the hands that you saw on the Hypershiki 2.0. Um, however, it has got um, a different style in, in three, uh, three and one uh, in articulation. So it might be a bit more solid. We'll have to wait and see, but the, the weapon peg looks like it might be a little bit more robust, which is always nice. We'll have to wait and see how that is, because hands on Bandai kits, historically, you know, are a bit hit and miss. It's quite a heavy um, manual. Also, it's got the pullout, um, much like some of the older uh, Ver cars as well. Uh, possibly um, to save this being on the inside or the middle, um, we'll have to wait and see, but normally this sort of like, uh, promotional sort of stuff is in the middle of the manual. Uh, but there is some Katoki uh, progress and concept art and development fodder, which is really nice, and a rendition there, Katoki's artwork. Do like his proportions and, and how he, um, how his vision. And there is some translated um, an interview if you want to read that which is always nice to, to dive into the wine of Kentucky. now this is kind of cool uh, we get the part index um, rather than just like a bunch of parts here we go like this like sprue form um, it does tell you where the sprues are going to be used with an image it's kind of cool like a little reference so you can get your runners ready for each project that's kind of cool i like that and it's in color as well and it's color coded very nice also uh there is a psycho frame clear pink for the unicorn that i think is uv um so i think uh this part um hang on see that's all the same sprue that sprue C and this sprue C, when installing Psycho Frame parts with new details, C parts, into the MG11 Unicorn Gun Fog sold separately. Uh, one unassembled MG Unicorn required. Okay. I think it's because it's UV reactive and you can put these parts in the Unicorn. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Because I don't think the um, the Psycho uh, clear pink frame uh, for the Verkai Unicorn was UV plastic. So that's kind of cool. Or UV ABS, I should say. And there are parts here that you're not going to use. That's interesting. So what does that mean? I don't know that whether these parts were part of the original unicorn. Um, so you're using some sort of unicorn parts, which I kind of had a, an idea that that might be the case. But the majority of it, like 98% of it, is new. 
yeah so the like i said um about the beginning here this all this concept stuff they put it at the front in a pull out rather than the middle so it's just uninterrupted build it's starting with the core fighter which has two and a half pages which is nice and then the transformation so no three pages for the core fighter alone so two build one transformation that's really cool the chest unit leading on to the head unit leading on to the arms and hands then the legs then the waist Um, showing you how to combine all the components, the backpack, the beam rifle, which kind of reminds me of um, the the rifle from kind of Seed, or is it the Jewel Gundam? But this looks like it's it's got like a like an MP40 style uh, <laughs> magazine. Which is weird because it's like, you know, it's a beam rifle, uh, seeing beam weapons with what looks like conventional uh, solid ammunition ma magazines or, or cartridges. It just, it's just weird. It's weird to me. Uh, but it could be like a massive battery. So that, that's, you know, it, you know, it depends on your interpretation of the design, I suppose. Um, and this is to then install all of the external psycho frame. Uh, you might have to take some parts out to swap them um, and and whatnot, but it's not too terrible. The feet look really intricate with lots of design features and moving parts, which is nice. Um, I am looking forward to this. This does have a, an up, raise, and down uh, portion, kind of like the unicorn, um, which is kind of cool. And I'm hoping the knees, these knee parts, the knees on the unicorn, no matter what, apart from the uh, the MGEX, the MGEX uh, unicorn mold was actually really, really solid. Uh, but the knees on uh, other unicorns are always a little bit flaky. Does have a haiku shiki style um, beam saber attachment thing. Very very similar and reminiscent to that. So I'm seeing some sort of like crossover references. And there's the color guides, the painting chart, and the decals with the pilot. It's kind of cool. One of the Miracle Children. And uh, yeah, it's all in English as well as Japanese. So it's kind of cool. It's a really nice, chunky um, manual. It's, it's kind of good. I, I, like, I like a nice, thick bit of uh, reading material uh, when it comes to these kits. So there we are. We are going to now check out the UV properties of the kit. So come with me and I'll show you what it's like. There we are, glows like a good one. Uh, it just so happens that I've turned my light box into a curing station, because I'm 3D printing, you probably hear it whirring in the background. Um, so yeah, there you go, <laughs> speaks for itself. Uh, use U UV uh, reactive ABS plastic, and it is absolutely fantastic. It glows like a good one. And you can see it glowing on my hand. very very nice it's going to look awesome for photographs um and also if you've got a display base with like up uh, uv up lights um it's going to react and look absolutely special so there we are guys thank you so much for watching the video uh, if you like the video leave us a thumbs up and all that sort of stuff consider subscribing and i will see you next time take care guys oh smoking jesus titty cinnamon that is a monster that's gonna be sweet